Good morning. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Divine Exchanges. Hey, Stephanie. Good morning. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Periscope. Happy Thursday. Today is our last day this week. Um, good morning, Dechelle. Good morning, uh, Mesa's girl, Mesa girl. Good morning, Dr. VJ. Good morning. Good morning, Marquisa. Good morning, Danita. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Nita. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Life Scope with True Heart Speaks. I am Deetra True Heart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, I speak life mentor, teaker, teacher, <laughs> speaker, um, <clears throat> preacher. I do. I'm feeling a little bit better. I took some Theraflu this morning. I'm drinking ginger ale. Um, I'm still a little tired, but I'm good. Um, but we're all about, hey, Nicole, on my way to New York. Nice. What part of New York? New York City? Thank you. Hey, Jill, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Regina, good morning. Good morning, Antoinette. Hey, PDRN. It's either Petty or PD. I'm thinking pediatrician, but good morning. Hey, everybody. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Halise. Good morning. Hello in the Ukraine. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. Yes, today I'm repping my nonprofit, YMBP. We are currently recruiting YMBP.org. Good morning, Trish. Happy Thursday, everybody. How is everybody? PD. Okay. PDRN. Okay. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was thinking like pediatrician. Like a pediatrician RN. That's what I was thinking. So how is everybody this Thursday? How was your week? I mean, this is technically our last day today, so I want to know how your week was. What's good? We had, um, yesterday was my first, uh, Yesterday we had student ministry, so some of you may or may not know I'm now over student ministry. And so we had our first, um, our first, I don't know what to call it, our first week of, of me and um, Kyrie running, putting everything together. Great, God is good, awesome, putting everything together. And so, hey, Erica. So it was, um, I'm tired, I'll tell y'all that much, but it was good. Um, we didn't have, you know, too many glitches or anything like that. Everything kind of ran, ran smoothly. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Life Scope. I'm glad you all are here, blessed and highly favored. I know that's right. You know, I'm tired, but I'm here. I'm thankful, right? So, yeah, so I'm super excited. Um, just about today, I'm excited about possibly being able to get some rest um not a whole lot of rest because things are kind of like picking up so i'm learning to kind of like take pauses leaders are always tired yep so i'm trying to um you know manage some things out and i'm actually reading this again um while i'm reading a couple of other things but we're going to actually um talk a little we're going to read from this a little bit from this today and then we're going to talk about influence um and so today we're all about you know this month you all know we're talking all about um uh, the power of influence. And so, yes, on Monday we talked about, and I'm not jumping into it just yet, but I'm just kind of giving you guys a heads up, um, that we talked a little bit about um, uh, what is leadership. And so, according to John Maxwell, leadership is all about influence, right? Um, and then um, the other person who he quoted, it says it's all about also getting followers, right? And he says, he that thinketh he leadeth and has no followers is only taking a walk. And so good morning, everybody. Um, and so we talked on Monday to, well, really Tuesday and Wednesday about what it means to lead and what exactly is leadership. Good morning, Nakia. And, um, and really what we're talking about here is really a leadership of lifestyle, a lifestyle of leadership, right? Hashtag living leadership, living, living this thing on a daily basis. Hey, Marsha. Um, good morning, Michelle. 
And so, um, hey, AZ, hey, everybody. So we're going to be talking a little bit about that. But in the meantime, let's double tap. Let's get some hearts going. Um, let's do our hearts of worship. Let's invite people in. Let's make sure we've got some people um, who we are inviting in. So you want to swipe right on the iPhone. You want to swipe up on the Android if you're on Periscope, if you're on Facebook and you're on the computer. Um, you can obviously press share. If not, as I always ask when you guys are, when this is over, make sure you share this with everybody you know, because I know that, um, that there's probably somebody who needs to hear this message, right? So how cute is that, that I popped up purple <laughs> on today's scope and I'm wearing purple. I'm all about the purple vibe today, right? So, um, so yeah, so super excited about, um, about this month's topic of, you know, living leadership, right? Living leadership. Um, it's about us, you know, not just talking about it, but living it. Um, and I think the other part is um, I'm glowing today. I'll give you my secret. I'm really not glowing today. I put a little something on so I can glow. <laughs> oh, so I'm totally not glowing today. I'm just, um, I am just, uh, let me see. And one an essay will fix that. You can feel better. Okay, I'm looking at um, Nakia's post from yesterday. I was telling you all my throat was hurting. Um, it says, then it says, I thought so. It looks good. Thank you. Good morning, Darren. <laughs> Yeah, I'm using, I went out, I love bronzer because, you know, I can do full face and all that kind of stuff, but um, good morning, Ashley. How you doing, baby love? So um, I got this cute little um, bronzer that I bought at the store. Um, I love bronzer. Thank you for inviting followers, everybody. It's by Sonia Keshuk. I'm not a, a makeup person, but I'm, I'm all about the way it looks so I don't necessarily I won't say I don't care who makes it because I do care who makes it but this one I really liked if you can look at it it's like I'll put it that way you can see so it's really cute it's called chic luminosity it's a bronzer and highlighter so I am highlighting <laughs> um glided honey by um by Laura Geller let me write that down I don't think we have that here <clears throat> it says I need that yeah let me remember where I got this from I think I got it from Target Jill I really do either Target or I think I got it from Target so um so yeah so those are that's my little beauty so I got a little and then um for actually my eyes I put because I'm really tired you all um this is from Mary Kay we don't even make it anymore but it's a cream highlighter you can see that it's a cream highlighter so I feel like I'm like on one of those <laughs> YouTube videos where they're telling you like okay so you know, can you see, you know, they do the little light thingy where they do like, okay, so can you see it? And so then you do like this. I, that's what I feel like we're doing, even though we're not. So yeah, so I um, put a little something on just to kind of make my tired face. Um, it's funny, right, Jill? Like that's all of your, your, um, your alley of fashion. And <laughs> so yeah, so, but, um, but yeah, so I just, you know, I wanted to, my this little tired face, I had to brighten it up because I really was looking a little dull, y'all. And, um, so yeah, so, so let me share, um, cause we, uh, so then we can kind of get this party started. So again, I'm really excited about this monthly topic. I'm really excited about starting this month off this way. Um, I'm really excited about my new book. Um, do I still sell? No, I don't, unfortunately. Um, I had to let it go. Um, it was kind of time for me to let it go and um, really start focusing on my business. And I'll tell you why. Um, mainly because um, for a while, because I had sold it, that was like the primary thing I did between the pageant and Mary Kay. Good morning, Debbie. That um, most of the time when people would say, like, it's kind of like this question of in business. And so, so for some of you, this may be a question you need to ask yourself. What do you want to be known for? Right. What do you want to be known for? And so for a long time, because I sold Mary Kay for seven years, um, I'm sharing while I talk. A lot of people, people knew me and people still refer me to Mary Kay, even though I don't sell Mary Kay. I was so good at Mary Kay. I was. But the problem was, is that I was becoming more known for Mary Kay than I was for that right there. True Heart Speaks. Um, and I, and my, I knew that my brand was True Heart Speaks. My brand was not Mary Kay. And so it's nothing wrong with it. Cause I still love, like I said, I still wear it. I love it. Um, but that was not for me. Right. Um, there, I believe that there were things that I was definitely, um, supposed to learn, you know, from Mary Kay, tons of stuff that 
I use in my business for Mary Kay. And so for some of you, um, especially those of you who are all over the place, I'm going to ask you this question. Um, and this, I think, even ties into what we're going to talk about today when we talk about influence. What do you want to be known for? What do you want to be known for, right? When we're talking, who exactly are you influencing? And so for me, I literally had to stop promoting Mary Kay to the point of where, like, I, um, I was still selling it, but I wasn't telling people because I now had to push the True Heart Speaks brand because people thought only thing was like, oh, Detroit Mary. When, when you said Detroit, people knew YMVP and they knew Mary Kay. That's all they knew. For those of you who don't know, this is YMVP. It's my girls program. Um, Young Miss Buffalo pageant and so that's all people knew and so for some of you you gotta take a step back and you gotta really ask what do people know you for especially if you're an entrepreneur what do people know you for right and so now of course when people talk about me they talk about purpose they talk about motivational speaking they talk about coaching right they talk about ministry they talk about faith so I was intentional about that thing when I had to transition out of Mary Kay and fully into True Heart Speaks because I wanted to be known as True Heart Speaks not the Mary not Mary Kay oh and True Heart Speaks right so you got to get clear on that thing and so this is you know we're already into our teaching um but i'm gonna pause for a minute let's double tap the screen let's do our hearts of worship i'm sharing on facebook i'm sharing in my group i'm sharing um i don't think you can share periscope um good morning tamika and say you were strategic absolutely i was very strategic um, and, and we have to be strategic in what we're doing. And so some of us, when I, when you see me say posts that we're you all over the place and all of this other kind of stuff, some of y'all are all over the place. And when, and when people say your name, they don't know what to say. Cause you're all over the place. They're like, Oh, well, I think she's selling coffee and I think she's selling, you know, the, um, TLC tea. And I think, you know, she's doing Mary Kay. I'm not really sure what she's doing, but I know she's selling a whole lot of stuff. And so when I think about her name, I I really get confused you need to um that was me and then bk i chose um the or chose my organization awesome right you gotta do that tamika i'm glad you did that and then you gotta go hard you gotta get to the point where and it's not about there's a um let me i'm gonna let y'all listen to this real quick um i love eric thomas and um i think it's dominate let me see if it's dominate i'm gonna i gotta listen to it um hold on It's called You Don't Come Into My Field. Let me let y'all listen to this really quick. I think this is it. But his new... Yes, I'm all over the place. Need to... I think this is it. I gotta find it, y'all. Because I listened to the whole CD. And I'm not sure which one it is. Let me listen to it. But at any rate, um, good morning. Good to hear your voice, Sounds Hill. Yes, it is coming. Um... I'm drinking my ginger ale. I did actually gargle last night, Nakia, with um, the salt water. I don't think this is it, but I got to find it, you all. Compete. Maybe it's a compete. I don't think that's it either. Hold on. Compete. I can't remember. I can't remember, but this. I listen to this. Um, what I've been listening, I've been listening to. Like, if you all want to know what I listen to in the morning and why I'm like so hyped, like this morning I didn't really listen to too much, but this is the kind of stuff I listen to. Like, and y'all wonder why I be wired? I be ready to like kill it. So. I can't remember which one it is. I'm not going to spend. If I find, I'll find it today and play it on Monday. It said two days and it will be completely gone. I get sore throats all the time because of my sinuses. Okay, yeah. And I, and it feels better now that I'm up. I think last night because I spoke. I mean, I spoke two days in a row, y'all. And speaking every day in the morning. So so today I took some Theraflu. My daytime Theraflu. My, um, my ginger ale is in here. But like I was saying, so let's just pause for a minute. Let me do my hearts of worship. Um... And then we can get back into this conversation because it really does tie into to influence, like, right, um, the power of influence. So let's just, those of you who this is your first time on the morning life scope, good morning. I'm Deetra Trueheart. 
um, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. Um, we normally, for the first maybe like 10 minutes or so, we just have conversation. I let people join in. And, um, and we just talk, right? And then for another like 10 minutes or so, I teach and then we close out in prayer. Um, that's every single day. And so it's technically supposed to be about 30 minutes or so. Um, and so it, sometimes it goes a little bit over. Sometimes it goes a little bit under, but literally I'm here 715 to 745. So good morning. So, um, part of what we do is hearts of worship. Hearts of Worship for me is we just get together and the, the foundation of who I am and what I do is based on my faith. And so I know that I don't do what I do without him. And so we just kind of commune together and we take a couple minutes and we double tap the screen and we give hearts of worship and we love on God and we just love on him together. Why? Because I can't see you. I can't hear you. But the heart show me that we're on one page, that we're loving on him. You can type into the comments. Hey, Tatiana, good morning. Um, hey, Kita, good morning. I didn't see you guys pop in, but you guys can type in, you know, God, we we love you we adore you but that's really what we do right we don't start what we do um, and forget why we do it and forget who allowed us to do it right um, especially since we understand that tomorrow is not promised we understand that we don't take this thing for granted we don't take him for granted good morning and so um so that's really what that's all about we just love on him we just say lord we love you we thank you um we honor you right hey kita how are you good morning so you know we just we love god and we love him loving on us we love his grace and mercy every day we love his favor right we just love opportunities that pop up when we didn't ask for it you know some you know we talk about we want to be ready and when the pop opportunity pops up and you're ready like it's super awesome you know what i'm saying so it's just one of those things where we, that's what we do every single morning, right? Every Monday through Thursday, we give hearts of worship. We love on God. We allow him to love on us. Um, and I love seeing those hearts pop up. I see a little purple popping up up in there. Um, and so I just, you know, for me, it's just, I love, you know, I love taking time to just a, a worship and just love. Hey, Siobhan, I haven't seen you in a while, poop. Um, and so it's just awesome, right? So awesome. And I tell you all this every day. I don't tell you all the time, but what I will say is, is if you, if, if Periscope and Facebook are the first things that you get on for the morning life scope before you have, um, your quiet time with him, you need to get off right now. God should always get your first of your first of your first. He absolutely deserves the honor and glory. We absolutely thank him for waking us up this morning, right? We know some folks that are not making it, right? They're just like their time was was up. And so we don't know when our time is up. So we got to make the most of the time that we have, right? Um, and, and, and a lot of times if you're like, well, I don't know what to do with the time that I have. Well, part of that is because you're not getting quiet. And, and and you're all over the place, busy working, taking tests for CDA and Gates Paraprofessional Test. Well, we'll be praying for you that you pass and you get your certification. Um, nothing wrong with working. There's nothing wrong with that, girl. Get that paper and do what you do. So, yes. So, now let's, um, let's transition into, uh, oh, here it is. I think just, I think I just found this, y'all. Don't that sound like Beyonce, y'all? But it's not. I think this is it. When I talked about being all over the place and, and focusing, I think this is it. So for me now, when you see stuff, True Heart Speaks, I want everything. Consistency, right? You got to be consistent. I want y'all to listen to this. Not a... You will not outwork me. Hey, Cozy Poo. Eric Thomas, ET the Hip Hop Preacher. 120. Some of y'all are giving 10 to this and 10 to that and 5 to this and 6 to that. But you got to give 120 to that thing. Whatever it is, right? 120 to that thing. You cannot be successful trying to be what everybody else is. 
can't be successful trying to be what everybody else is. He told himself he was gonna work out. He worked out. That treadmill now got clothes. He dried clothes on the treadmill. About being the most consistent. Some of y'all ain't consistent. Y'all ain't about that consistent life. You about that inconsistent life, but you ain't about that consistent life. He said, you got to fool with me because I'm on everything. <laughs> That's E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. All right. So that was the song I was looking for, y'all. I know. I'm crazy. But listen, that's me. All right. Let me turn that down. So let's talk a little bit about influence, right? Good morning, Kristen. So um, so when we talk about influence, right, the power of influence, um, I'm going to read a little bit. I only got a couple minutes, but that's okay. We're talking. We're here. We're reading from um, Developing the Leader in You. Um, yeah, I'm dancing. To, I, you know what? I normally, I dance every so often um, to Chico. You miss it, right? But um, those of y'all who've been with me since the very beginning, y'all know I don't have no problem um, breaking it down a little bit. So that's my word for 2017, consistent. Yes, you got to be consistent, y'all. And so if you're building businesses, and remember, we're talking about leadership, a lifestyle of leadership. Um, and remember, we're not just talking about position and titles. We're not just talking about organizations and things. We're talking about you having a group of people who are assigned to you. And so if you're not consistent, then the people who are assigned to you, right, it says no problem. I have no problem, Millie Brocken, right? No problem whatsoever. Um, I do a little dab, a little something, something every now and then. But you got to realize that influence comes with consistency, right? And so if you're not consistent, you wonder why you don't have any influence. People don't know who you are. You're a different person each day of the week. And so Monday, you talking about one thing. Tuesday, you talking about one thing. And here's the thing. I was even strategic about talking about this less and talking about this more because it even got to the point where I was only known as the person who worked with girls. That was not my thing anymore. That was not the, that was not the only brand. I don't want to say that was the brand. That was not the only brand that I wanted to be known for. So you got to get clear. And I'm going to tell you, it takes time. I'm just going to be honest. It's not an overnight process. You got to get clear. It's trial and er error. Um, it says we must rock with God at all time every day. Absolutely. Because guess what? When you spend time with him, he'll start to order your steps. He'll start to make some things clear. He'll just start to. And here's the thing. You can feel in your gut whether you're supposed to be doing something. Inconsistency is, def in inconsistency is definitely not good for leaders. It's not good for leaders. Because guess But guess what? We are all leaders. And so if you're cons inconsistent. Consistent, it's it's not good for you because the people who God is calling you to, the people who are assigned to you can't find you because you're all over the place. You're all over the place. So I'm gonna read this um this little passage here, and then um and then we'll talk a little bit more. So if you have yet to buy this book, I want you to go buy it, right? Um, and I want you to start investing in yourself by buying books. Um, because you know, if you, again, if you can't work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, the best can best next, the next best way is buying books and learning and developing yourself. And you should be doing that anyway, even if you're not working with somebody like, I don't have to be working with somebody to buy a book to be able to make deposits in myself. I don't have to do that. Right. Um, and so it says, um, we're talking about insights about, uh, influence. So it says, sociologists tell us that even the most introverted individual will influence 10,000 other people during his or her lifetime. This amazing statistic was shared with me by my associate, Tim Elmore. Tim and I conducted, concluded that each one of us is both influencing and being influenced by others. That means that all of us are leading in some areas, while in other areas we are being led. No one is excluded from being a leader or a follower. Realizing your potential as a leader is your responsibility. Let me say that again. Realizing your potential as a leader is your responsibility. It's not nobody else's responsibility. Well, I need somebody to mentor me. I need somebody to show me. I'm just, I mean, if I could just get a person that could just, you know, we had a little pity party. No, that's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. I'm not saying you got to be stalking people, but what I am saying is, is that you need, it's your responsibility, right? So he says, um, 
no one is excluded okay so i read that he says in any given situation with any given group um there is a prominent influencer let me illustrate the mother may be the dominant influencer over a child in the morning before school begins mom may choose what to eat and what to wear the child who was influenced before school may become the influencer of other children once school begins dad and mom may meet at a restaurant for lunch and both be influenced by the waiter um, who suggests the house specialty? Yes, 10,000, right? We have the ability to influence 10,000 people. Who knew, right? Um, it says the time dinner is served in the evening may be set because of either the husband or the wife's work schedule. The prominent leader of any group is quite easily discovered. Just observe the people as they gather. If an issue is to be cited, who does decided who is the person whose opinion seems most valuable? Who is the one Others watch the most when the issue is being discussed. Who is the one with whom people quickly agree? Most importantly, who is the one the others follow? Answers to these questions will help you discern who the real leader is in a particular group. And it's not always a person who is deemed the leader, right? Um, it says we never know who or how much we influence. The most effective way to understand the power of influence is to think of the times you have been you have been touched by the influence of a person or an event. Big events leave marks on all our lives and memories. For example, ask a couple of people born prior to 1930 what they were doing when they heard that Pearl Harbor had been bombed. And they will describe in detail their feelings and surroundings when they heard the terrible news. Ask someone born before 1955 to describe what he or she was doing when the news that John F. Kennedy had been shot was um, was broadcast. Again, you will find no loss for words. A similar response occurs with the younger generation when asked about the day the Challenger blew up. These were big events that touched everyone. In these times, we can even talk about the day that Barack Obama became president or in the next couple of days, the day he, he left the White House. People can talk about how those eight years influenced their lives, their children, their thought process, their perspective. There's some people who never thought they would see a, a black president ever, right? That wasn't in the book. I just added that, y'all. It says, think also of the little things or people who influenced you in a powerful way. In reflecting on your own life, I think of the influence of um, I think of the influence of a camp I attended as a youth and how it helped determine my career choice. I think of my seventh grade teacher, Glenn Leatherwood, the bubble lights on our uh, Christmas tree that gave me the Christmas feeling every year. The affirming note I received from a professor in college. It says the list is endless. Life consists of influencers who daily find it find us vulnerable um, to their impressions and therefore have helped mold us into the persons we are. J.R. Miller said it well. There have been meetings of only a moment which have left impressions for life, for eternity. No one can understand that mysterious thing we call influence, yet every one of us continually exerts influence, either to heal, to bless, to leave marks of beauty, or to wound, to hurt, to poison, to stain others. And so I'm going to stop there. Um, I got a minute before I pray. And so the, the point of this is, is that we all have influence and we all have to understand the power of influence. We all have to understand um, that, you know, like this says, not only are we being influenced, but we're influencing others. And so the conversation that I'm having right now with you is the idea that you have the power to influence. And the question is, who are you influencing and how are you influencing them? influencing them are you leaving marks to bless to heal leaving marks of beauty right or are you wounding hurting poisoning or staining others what is your mark what mark are you leaving not only on others but on this world what is your legacy the power of influence and we're going to continue this conversation um next week as we talk more about living leadership but when we talk about intention when we talk about the idea of being intentional about how you live and what you want to be known for um not only as somebody who is a leader in your job but just a leader in life right who you connect with you may not necessarily which i hope you are influence somebody at your job but you could be influencing people at your church you could be influencing you know some people who you know you might be part of an organization and there might be people like i've had people who watch me who i don't know who are watching me that i'm influencing just by being who i am and i never knew it and they will come up to me and say hey i've been watching you or i've been x y and z and or whatever the case may be and luckily i wasn't showing my tail 
Um, you know, and so, cause you know, we can do that. We can show our tail, right? Um, and, and I'm not, well, I shouldn't say there isn't thing, anything wrong with it. I'm just going to say that it happens, right? Um, cause it, there, there is something wrong with showing your tail all the time. But what I will say is at some point there has to be self-control. You have to be mindful of the effects of your actions and your words. Um, and, and, and what, not only what they have on other people, but also what they have on you. Some people are not worthy of you, ha you know, going at it with them. Some people are not worth your time and your energy. And so sometimes you got to take a step back and you got to say, you know what? I could just lay you out right now. But you're not even worthy of it. You're not even worth it. It's not It's not worth it, right? And so I'm just going to walk away. And you can think and say whatever it is that you want. But at the end of the day, just guess what? My influ I understand the power of my influence. I understand the power of my touch. I understand the power of my words. I understand the power of who I am, right? You know, Kia, right? So we got to understand the power of our influence. And so sometimes not saying something is the most powerful thing that you can say because you have to understand that your words have power and they carry right into tomorrow, into next year, whatever. And you never know when you will come in contact with that same person again to the point of where you actually have to pour into them. And guess what they remember? They remember that last incident. And so you got to understand that. You got to remember that, right? So let's pray. We're going to um, close out here. And um, just real quick, was this good for you? Was what we talked about today helpful? Yes, words have amazing power. That's amazing. They do. And we got to remember that. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Awesome. I love the hearts, y'all. So remember, this weekend, remember you have the power, helpful, great, juicy. Yes, juicy. Y'all remember hashtag juicy? Was this juicy? Very wonderful word. Thank you. So you all make sure if you're not following me, make sure you hit the little bald head guy on Periscope and follow me on Facebook. I think there's a way for you to subscribe to the videos and follow the video so that when I'm online, you'll get notification. Because my coworker almost saw the floor, but I walked away. I know that's right. Oh, Jesus. I'm thankful they didn't see the floor. Bless her, Lord. I'm thankful. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't have been pretty. I'm thankful. And here's the other thing that you got to remember, Kita and everybody, is that some people just like to push your buttons. Some people really like to push your buttons. And so when you understand, <laughs> you understand that some people like to push your buttons and you understand that some people just like to say things just to see how far they can take you and they like to see if they can get you to that place because they get satisfaction in you being miserable like they are. They get satisfaction in seeing, okay, well, how far can I take her to the point of where if I'm miserable, I want her to be miserable, right? We know hurt people, hurt people, misery loves company. And so sometimes you have to say, no, boo -boo, I, I, I peeped your game a long time ago and I'm not joining that party. And it could right, and it could come from anybody, right? It don't have even have to be anybody that you know. It could be somebody you don't know. You have to, you got it. They looking for reaction. They're looking for attention. They're looking for, right? She's not as happy um, as she acts and they want to show it. Absolutely. Right? They want to see if they can pull you out of your character. You know what I'm saying? And so don't let nobody take you outside of character. They don't have to see it. I mean, yeah, they can get it, but you're not going to get it. Right? I, let's, let's be clear. You could get it. You can definitely get it. But I'm not going to give it to you because that's you. That's what you want. I'm not going to do that. So we're just absolutely um, it says you all in my background, you save somebody's life. Yeah, you can't you definitely you got to be you got to be mindful of that thing. Right. That's what a lifestyle of leadership is, is when we when we're living this thing on a daily basis, we understand the power that we carry. We understand the influence that we carry. And so in understanding that, we also understand that there's some things that just are better left unsaid, better left undone, better left walked away, right? Okay, let's pray, y'all. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time and this space, Lord. We thank you, O oh God, for this daily message, O oh God, and the power of influence. We thank you, O oh God, because guess what? Just like, um, you know, the, the one that we follow, Jesus, right? Who knew that during his three years of being here on earth that he would have the power to influence people? Info at, at trueheartspeaks.com. I'm sorry. Info at trueheartspeaks.com. Um, that you, um, that he had the power 
to influence the rest of the world, right? Long after he would be gone. And so we thank you, Father, for this time. We thank you for this space. We thank you, God, for understanding that we have the power to influence. But more importantly, influence comes from being consistent. And so for those of us who are inconsistent, help us to take a step back. Help us to reevaluate where we are. Help us to reevaluate what we have going on. And even if we have multiple things happening, what's the thing that we want? What's the commonality in the thing that we have going on? And so, Lord, we just thank you. Got it. We thank you, oh God, for just this opportunity to be in a space. Um, good word, daughter. You're helping us. Oh, hey, mama. How you doing, lady mama? Um, and so, Lord, we thank you, oh God, for this time. We thank you for this space. We thank you, oh God, for just an opportunity just to, with the power of influence. We thank you that we understand that based on this book, that there is the ability to influence 10,000 other people in our lifetime. And guess what? Not simply because we are intentionally doing it, but because we're walking into the plan and the purpose that you have for us. Simply because we are doing what you've called us to do. Simply because we are just, we're just, we show up. And so we want it to be a positive influence. We don't want it to be a negative influence. We don't want people to have negative things to say about us. We don't want people, and people are going to say things regardless of the fact, but we don't want it to be because of something we've intentionally done, right? And so, Lord, we thank you for understanding the power of influence over this weekend, okay? Over this weekend, Lord, we ask that you, oh God, would keep us mindful of our power of influence. Help us to make sure that what we are saying, what we are doing is in alignment with who we say we are, that there is consistency in, in our character. There is consistency in what we say, that it all lines up, that if we say we follow you, that what we do and what we say are in alignment with who we say we follow. And so that those who are following us Right. We know that he that says he is a leader and has no followers is just taking a walk. And so, Father, help us to make sure we're not just taking a walk. Help us to make sure that we are leading people. Help us to make sure that we are influencing people. Help us to be intentional. But more importantly, help us to be consistent in the name of Jesus, Lord. There are a lot of inconsistent people out there. We have the power to influence close to 10,000 people. But help us to be mindful of how we are influencing people. Help us to be mindful of what we are saying and what we are doing, God. Help us not to just be out here running our mouths and showing ourselves off just for the sake of doing it, but let us be intentional with every single thing that we do. This opportunity, Lord, to be in a space where we live leadership. We are living leadership. It is a lifestyle of leadership. Not only just at work, not only just at church, but just in our everyday lives. Not only in the positions that we hold, but just in how we connect with people. How are we leading and following the people who are assigned to us, who are assigned to our story, who are assigned to our experience, who are assigned to our flaws, who are assigned to our idiosyncrasies. They are assigned to every facet of those people, oh God. We ask that you, oh God, would help Help us to be consistent in the way that we influence, in the way that we lead, also in the way that we follow. Help us to be mindful of who we are following because we need to know that the people who we are following are influencing us in a way that we influence other people. Help us, oh God, guard our minds, guard our eyes, oh God, even guard our lips, oh God, to be able to watch what we say, watch what we hear, and watch what we see, Lord. Help us, oh God, to be able to make divine deposits. Help us to read books, oh God. We know that readers are leaders. Leaders are readers. We know that learners are earners. And so as we learn more, help us to be in a position, oh God, to be in a place, oh God, where we can pour into others, oh God, where we, oh God, to not only pour into others, but allow ourselves to be poured into. Let us not grow stagnant and stuck thinking that we know everything. Help us to be in a space where we are always, always, always lifelong learners in the name of Jesus. And so we thank you, oh God, for this day. We thank you, oh God, for this week, for this is the last day that we will be here. But I ask God that you will cover each and every one of my tribe members, oh God, those who are part of the I Speak Life and True Heart Speaks community, those who are watching live and on the replay, that you would cover them, oh God, that you would encamp with your angels around about them, oh God. Father, I ask that this is the last time that we connect, oh God, the same way as the last time I connected with Lori Ann, Lord, that they know you, oh God, and the pardon of their sins, oh God, that they, oh God, have come to have relationship with you, oh God, that we know where they are going when they leave here in the name of Jesus. And so God, we don't know when our last day is but if it is oh god we want to be with you we want to make sure that we that we where we go is where you are in the name of jesus and so we thank you we praise you cover them oh god bring them back monday so we can continue this conversation on living leadership we thank you we praise you we magnify you in jesus name amen so my my prayer is that this was a blessing to you all you all have an awesome week um this was this is gonna be a good topic y'all i can just feel it what was the name of the book? This is the name of the book that I'm reading. 
John C. Maxwell, developing the leader within you. So if, if you got to go on eBay, if you got to go on Amazon, halfbooks.com, if you just got to go to the library and rent it, um, this is your first real assignment that I'm going to give you. I want you to go get this book. And I want you to study this book. I want you to read it. There's some homework assignments and stuff in here. There's some good stuff in here, right? But I want you to make a commitment to start reading. If you don't like reading, go get Audible and pay the $14.99 monthly fee. Excuse me. And just and listen to the book. Thank you. You have an awesome day too, Debbie. I'm thankful you guys are here that you stay with me. And please share this. As I always ask, hold it up one more time. I'm sorry. So you can take a screenshot if you need to. I'll hold it up. But, um... Please share this. Everybody share it because we need to hear this. Thank you. You have a good weekend as well. And I'm going to, um, I got to go wake my baby up. I kept him home yesterday, y'all, because he had a little bug. And so I hope he's feeling better today. So did you guys get it? He had a bug. So um, if you have yet to get your 30 Days of Thanks books, please get your books pre-order. Um, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash 30 days of thanks. You can just go to trueheartspeaks.com. You're welcome. And, um, and you can click on the 30 days of thanks banner and it'll take you to the page if you just need to, if you can't remember 30 days of thanks, but yes, um, I appreciate all of you who have currently already bought books. I'm so honored, um, that you all believe in me and the message. Um, and I know a lot of you spent no November with me when we read 30 days of thanks. So, you know that it's good, you know what I mean? So, but I'm honored. I'm super excited. So, um, you all have an awesome day, an awesome Thursday. Good morning from Russia. Um, and I will see you guys first thing Monday morning, 7.15 a.m. for the morning life scope. I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.